Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim where I'm taking a look at the newest version of the Bijan Hibashi Four Seasons Pack, what I used to call the Bijan Hibashi Tree Pack. But this new version, version 8, is actually an upgrade. It is not in line with the previous versions and you have to pay separately for it. Uh, for people who did not previously have the Four Seasons Pack, it is 20 euros and for those who are upgrading from the previous version, it is uh, at a 50% discount, so 10 euros, and so I paid 10 euros for it, or that in dollars. But the reason why it is a completely different thing, this Earth FX edition, instead of just being a tree pack as it once was, is because it now includes waterfall effects and volcanoes. And so I'm here to scout those out in my little kit fox. And we are going to see, you're going to see whether it's worth it or not. I'm not going to tell you, I'll just show you what it looks like. Uh, so right now I'm looking at the trees actually. I'm here in California to check out the redwoods. And what the tree pack previously did was to distribute uh, trees and flowers in a season appropriate way. And you would unzip the particular season that you wanted to install into your community folder and then you would get the trees and such for that season and I've put in the fall season for the northern hemisphere which is also spring for the southern hemisphere and we are here to see the trees and then I'll go on to the volcanoes and the waterfalls there are markers point of interest markers on the map for where these particular uh, the more particular trees are I mean it does a distribution of trees all over the place but there are special trees that uh, you might want to see and so it has markers for those it does cover the whole earth as far as the the updated stuff the volcanoes and uh, waterfalls it says it has five animated waterfalls in Yosemite Valley uh, animated angel falls with custom-made cliffs Stromboli volcano, Stromboli volcano in, in Italy, and then Merapi volcano, Etna volcano, uh, Ken Lo Laon volcano, Karimsky volcano. There's many other things, but those are the main points there. I decided to fly the Kit Fox. It, it was on sale. It was like four or five bucks, and the reason being is that the stock planes. I don't really have the full window door like we have here and this is nice nice for sightseeing let's see about these redwoods I don't know how they look like but according to the world map that little marker that we're headed to had some redwoods so I gonna trust that will they look like just any other trees are these redwoods I'm not super sure. <laughs> oh, there's some especially tall trees around here. Oh, I better not overstress it. Well, I saw some taller trees poking out. Yeah, we, we can see some very different trees, but they don't seem to have leaves on them. I mean, redwoods are evergreen aren't they? Well, those are certainly tallish. I admittedly have not visited the redwoods in California. But I can certainly confirm that we have special trees here. They are tall and have a reddish wood. So uh, okay. Okay, so we have them here, and there are other locations of other kinds of trees that you can see that aren't conventional or certainly not what stock has. The pack boasts 70 new multi ecosystems featuring over 45 trees, shrubs, and bushes, it says. Okay, well, I have seen the redwoods. Let's go to Yosemite. Alright, out from KMPI headed to Yosemite. 
and we are going to see about the waterfalls. I did remove a mod that modified Yosemite, so hopefully it is the stock situation. Presumably the waterfalls will not show up properly if you have a mod modifying the mesh of the landscape that would probably conflict with it. So I have assumed that. Continuing in the kit fox. Interesting tree cover around here. I presume that it is modified by the Bijan Hibashi Four Seasons pack as well. Well, I think I see a waterfall right there. And some little plumes from some, perhaps. I think there are supposed to be five animated waterfalls in Yosemite Valley. So, well, there's one. Is that animated, though? Right now it's looking static. Maybe that's not one of the ones. There's like a dozen different waterfalls in Yosemite Valley, so some of them might not be... Well, no, it's, it's changing. But this is like the earliest version of this thing, so maybe... Oh, now it's animating. So from a distance it doesn't do so well. Once you get closer it animates. Oh, this one is looking pretty good right from the start. Well, it's still a little bit hard to tell, but... Well, there's another waterfall down there. Okay, well, both of them are going to be confusing me. So there's two right there. And that top one is looking pretty good. I think... The, the big one right here is just Yosemite Falls. That is the, the big famous one. Down below, I'm not entirely sure which one that is. Maybe that's just part of Yosemite Falls. Maybe the one we saw before is actually Bridal Veil Fall, come to think of it. You can sort of see it over there. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure which side any other waterfalls might be. Don't see any over there. Solid right. But is that a waterfall there? No. It, it might be a waterfall but not an animated one. Oh, there's another one. No, oh, I think that's two more, so that'll that'll be enough. I think it might be maybe Vernal Falls and Nevada Fall, I'm not sure. But okay. I think I've seen the five that were advertised, so got this one down here. And then this one here. Okay. Well, those are the waterfalls. So with that, on to volcanoes. Alright, taking off and now on to Mount Etna, which should be just right there. That is Mount Etna, and it should be a very active volcano. I think it's spewing out some smoke. I'm not too sure the citizens of Sicily will approve of it constantly doing that but then again it sort of feels like it constantly does that right so <laughs> um, I guess maybe that's just how it is volcanoes are sort of hard to do in a tasteful decent looking way much more difficult than the trees and waterfalls it's easy to make them look too cartoonish 
All right, well, we see some bluish stuff going on there. I wasn't expecting blue, blue smoke. Well, maybe it was just a cloud tinting it. Now it looks like that. Oh, we see some lava now. Definite signs of lava there. The view a little bit closer. Not too bad. It does look tasteful, if you will. Not too crazy. Okay, well, billowing smoke out. It's just a small little bit of lava. A small appearance of lava, but that's good enough. That certainly does the trick. I don't know about this bit of smoke up here. Like there's another one there. Yeah, that that isn't working quite so well, I think. I don't know, it's just a little bit weird with that other smoke plume. It's this smoke plume. There's another one there. But for some reason, uh, the third one, the higher one, is so much bolder. With more contrast. But, not, not, not bad. I was expecting worse, actually. I mean, like I said, volcanoes are tough to do nicely. So this is pretty well done. You can see over here. Yep. That's a decent looking volcano. So that's Mount Etna for you with the Four Seasons Pack version 8 with Earth FX by B. John Hibashi. And having checked it out, well, that's how it is in the back. So, alright, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.